Omawale Adewale, an activist, MMA fighter, and vegan nutrition writer whose strong black fists were unknowingly turned against his own country. <laughs> I watch way too much Law & Order. Tell me about your story, it's crazy. I get contacted all the time about doing self-defense classes. And that's something that I was already doing. And a gentleman by the name of Taylor contacted me and he said he was from Blackfist. So this guy Taylor just calls you out of the blue? No, actually he contacted me via Instagram first. He told me that Blackfist was an organization that was training the black community to prevent police brutality. Wait, there's a self-defense move you can do when you're face down on the concrete? It didn't look shady. You were getting paid. They paid me $320 via PayPal. Well, that sounds legit. Exactly, it must be official. Little did Omawale know, he was officially being played by the Russians. For more, I turn to Congressman Adam Schiff. He's not just some dude on the House Intelligence Committee. He's the dude. Blackfist was a social media campaign by the Russians. The broader purpose was to communicate to African Americans you need to be afraid. Were they wrong? They're not wrong about that, uh, but the Russians do not have our best interests at heart. They created their own fake pages to scare and frighten African Americans about cops and frighten cops about African Americans. Some of the fake accounts would try to get people to join protests, and then the Russians would send RT, their news arm, to cover the protest. Many of them targeted people who had shown an interest in Martin Luther King or Black Panthers, people who search for Freddie Gray. Look at Russia, targeting black communities faster than gentrification. So how many classes did you actually do? A dozens of classes. Oh, okay, and these are like, like buff dudes, like really strong fighters? No, really um, uh, beginners. <laughs> wow. Yeah, men and women, some kids. Kids? Yeah, all types of races and... Wait, I'm sorry, you had white people <laughs> coming to a class called Blackfest? Right, <laughs> right, right. Taylor insisted on getting pics and videos. Pics or it didn't happen. And they edited out anyone who wasn't black. Now who was this mystery creep thirsting for pictures of black people working out? The only clue he left was a voicemail. When you talked to Taylor on the phone, did he sound black? Tell us sound black. He sounded like he was from Africa. Motherland black. Yeah, hello, Wiley. Um, this is Taylor. I wanted to um, confirm the self-defense classes that we talked about last time. Please get back to me. Bye-bye. Late April uh, was the last time he ever contacted me. The account on Instagram just disappeared. Did you try to call Taylor? I did call Taylor, and he just didn't pick up. You really got ghosted. I did. How did that feel? Uh, it felt like uh, Blackfist might have been fake. This is insane. Blackfist is the longest con since white Jesus. Why would Russians go through all this to create Blackfist, a self-defense group for black people? When we look at American society, one of the most radioactive elements uh, has been race and African Americans' response to racism. Uh, and if it's something that can create uh, riots uh, in Ferguson or recrimination in, in Baltimore, if you were an adversary of the United States, that would be exactly what you would try to manipulate. Wait, the Russians didn't just create Blackfist to deceive one vegan fighter. I needed to find out, who else were they playing? And that is when I struck gold. My name's Eddie Goldman. I do a podcast and a blog called No Holds Barred. Okay, so you had someone from Blackfist on your podcast, and what was his name? A guy named Jakob Johnson was the name that he gave me. Now, I have some audio from your podcast. Can I just play that? Sure. It's a good idea if um, a black people we could be able to um, defend ourselves. When I heard that on your podcast, I thought it sounded familiar. Hello, Wiley. Um, this is Taylor. I wanted to um, confirm the self-defense classes that we talked about last time. Same guy that called himself Jacob Johnson. Same guy. And if that wasn't enough proof, the phone numbers for Taylor and Jacob are the same. I know what I have to do. It's time to call two birds with one phone. Answer. How are you a hacker and you're not answering your phone? Oh, hello? 
Nope, still ringing. Any minute now. Man, all that build up for nothing? I feel manipulated. I feel like on my wallet. You felt like you were doing something good, it sounds like. Of course. I'm just a local guy, you know, that really just wants to do right in this community. And so uh, people took advantage of that. The end result of this is you make it more difficult for African-American activists to advance legitimate causes. But that's not personal. It's just an American weakness. And, you know, an, an adversary would exploit a weakness. Damn. So the Russians are weaponizing one of America's most plentiful resources, racism. One of the most radioactive elements, radioactive elements, radioactive elements. And while our country may not be able to stop Russia from taking shots at us, we can sure as hell stop giving them so much ammo. Because until we kick white supremacy to the curb, Russia can still turn even the most woke into double agents. Do svedanya, minya drug.